Ethan, you and I have run state senate campaigns. We know what it's like to be in the heat of a battle. What do you make of the negativity that we're seeing in some of these races around the state? Boy, it is remarkable. Up in the second congressional district between the two Republicans, Bruce Poliquin and Kevin Ray, just got bloody nasty early. Down here in Cumberland County, the sheriff race on the Democratic side. Look, what you know about negative campaigning is that you engage in it when you're losing. And clearly, these two guys, Poliquin and Eads, saw that they were losing and needed to bring their opponent down. And the political scientists tell you that as much as the public doesn't like negative campaigning, they do it because it works. So what are we going to see as the days unfold before the primary election, in both the sheriff and the yeah. congressional race? Look, the key around it is you got to respond the right way. And I think actually Kevin Ray responded very well. He, he mm -hmm. immediately attacked back. You know, there's an old James Carville line, which is that uh, if you're going to punch me, I'm going to put my arm down your throat. <laughs> and I think Kevin Ray did exactly that. But a little different in the C Cumberland County race, Joyce responded a little differently. Yeah, I, I, that's a very interesting point. A lot of money came in for Mike Eads. Mike Eads didn't anticipate it, and now I think it's somewhat backfired on him. It's going to be interesting to see how he handles that. But Kevin Joyce actually reached out to some former sheriffs, one of them an incumbent current legislator, Mark Dion, who's gone on the radio airways on his behalf. I wonder how much traction that's going to have for him. Yeah, you can either respond by attacking back, or maybe you try to rise up, certainly if you feel like you're strong enough in the race. Well, it's going to be interesting not only to see how these uh, unfold, but after the primary election on June 10th, particularly in the 2nd Congressional District, how does the winner bring everybody back together?